Well, today is National Gingerbread House Day. It's a day for everything. And coincidentally, we happen to have a nice story about a Connecticut gingerbread house. Yeah, this is no ordinary gingerbread house. This is a life-size gingerbread house, and you can see it for yourself at Mohegan Sun. Better photojournalist Eric Budney shows us how it all came together. It's a gingerbread house. I designed it about 14 years ago. Um, they were doing a collective sort of a holiday theme, and I said there was something missing. I said gingerbread house. So the CEO at that time said, "Design me one." So I drew it, designed it, gave it to him. We made blueprints, and we built it. The ingredients is royal icing, powdered sugar, egg whites, lemon juice, basic. Um, so you have that for the concrete, basically. And remember, that is a concrete, because what happens in, in days, it dries, and it becomes cement. So we have a thin layer on a frame, and we put 3,900 shingles for the roof, and about 4,000 bricks, which is a brick-size cookie, and 4,000 pounds of royal icing. So you come here and see a, a festival, or a, a holiday event, and this makes it that holiday event. It ties it all in. You walk into this building for seven weeks, you can smell gingerbread, nutmeg, cinnamon. It's all part of it. Our team, they um, do whatever projects they have to do for the casino, and then in between, they'll sheet out bricks, and that's how it all has played out. We will do a little bit at a time until we get it all complete. four soldiers guarding the walkway for all the guests to walk through. So you've got about an average of 25,000 to 35,000 people a day walking through it. The soldiers, chocolate. So inside there's a fireplace that has a cauldron with a little fire in it. We have stockings going around it. So it, we're trying to make it so it's a holiday fun thing. The stones in there is a fireplace made with a cookie that is marbled like a little stone. So the whole thing is, is the concept is to make it look like a house, size of a house, but in a cookie form as well. Here we are bringing elementary kids. It's all about the kids. It has to be elementary, so you want that second, third, and fourth graders coming in, and we want them to be hands-on, icing on, cookie on, so everybody becomes part of it. And we have 7,000 employees here. So here's these kids, and a lot of their parents work here. So we bring in a lot of the schools. The, their families might be here, their uncle might be here, grandfather, whatever. It, it becomes part of that community. It's about family, it's about people that are attached to this building. And this building runs by 7,000 people. There's a lot of us, and we all have kids. So we bring the kids in to make it part of a big thing. Are you ready? Old school, why? Because it's, like I said, community, uh, kids, and the gingerbread house is part of this festival time of the year. Doesn't matter what, what, where you are in the world. And I'm European, so gingerbread is huge. It is more than fun. It's fantastic. We get to interact with children. They get to be a part of our gingerbread building that we do every winter. So it is an exciting time for us. They're all eager and excited and want to place the bricks and taste the cookies, taste the buttercream, so it's fun. Wow, that's a big house. It's incredible. You can actually see this gingerbread house for yourself just by heading to the shops concourse right at Mohegan Sun. And